بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تسالون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يتع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما أما بعد فإن خير الحديث كلام الله وأحسن الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أهلا وسهلا ومرحبا بكم وبارك الله فيكم وعانكم الله ووفقكم لكل خير الجامع الجامع لعبادة الله وحده لشيخ محمد بن عبد الوهاب رحمه الله تعالى The next chapter is الاستعانة شيخ محمد بن عبد الوهاب رحمه الله تعالى If you study his works and you look at his writings and treaties and his books, you'll find that he's heavily engaged or was heavily engaged in At-Tasfiya wa Tarbiya. At-Tasfiya wa Tarbiya. At-Tasfiya means getting rid and purifying the Ummah of all those false ideologies and concepts that had entered the Ummah especially in the arena of creed, of aqidah, and tawheed. So he then educates the ummah. That's how he makes the tarbiyah, bringing the ummah, or bringing the attention of the ummah to what's required of them when it comes to worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. So in this chapter, in this bab, you will find that Shaykh al-Islam, Muhammad Abdul Wahhab, Naam, he purifies the ibadah with adilla from shirk, which is the most harmful, uh, harmful deviancy to befall the ummah, shirk in acts of ibadah. So this topic, al-isti'ana, is going to be uh, along those lines. So what is al-isti'ana? Al-isti'ana is talab al-awn ala amrin min al-umur. Wa talab al-awn is ala kismain. So it is to seek assistance in any affair or in any matter. That is the meaning of al-isti'ana. It comes from isti'ana, yasta'inu, musta'inun. Al-isti'ana tu or isti'ana tan means to seek assistance. So the seeking of assistance Al-isti'ana is of two types, right? The first type is where you seek assistance from a person nah, who is alive, who is able, who is present. Al-hay, al-qadir, al-hadir. Nah. So that is the first type of al-isti'ana. Is it permissible or not permissible? That's the question. Yes, it is permissible. Now this is what Sheikh Salah al-Fawzan, Hafizahullah ta'ala, is going to tell us in his commentary when he says, the first step is, أن تطلب أن تطلب العون ممن يقدروا على إعانتك You seek assistance from the one who is able to assist you. وهذا يجوز أن تستعين بالمخلوق فيما يقدروا عليه This seeking of assistance is permissible to seek it from the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in those matters which the creation is able to help you. Now we can give you many examples. You're driving your car on the road, you have a puncture, and then you flag down a passing motorist and you're asking for help. That is Alistiana. So you tell him, please help me change my tire. And he helps you, gives you a spanner, and you change, helps you to change your tire, and then you go on with life. That is permissible, Alistiana. Now, you're running, you fall down, you break your leg. Help, help me, help me, somebody, please help me. Somebody comes and assist you. That's Alistiana, right? So, 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says as well, here's a dalil in Surah Al-Ma'idah, ayah number two, وَتَعَوَنُوا عَلَى الْبِرِّ وَالتَّقْوَى وَلَا تَعَوَنُوا عَلَى الْإِسْمِ وَالْعُدْوَانِ So the word Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala used here is تَعَوَنُوا Naam? That's a mahalu shahi. That's a spot for evidence. Naam? That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, You people, you my slaves, you my servants, seek assistance from each other. But what type of assistance? In what? In albir wa taqwa. In righteousness and piety. In good things. So, indicating that you can assist each other as human beings. No? But do not assist each other in sin and transgression. فَتَعَاوُنْ بَيْنَ النَّاسِ فِيمَا يَقْدِرُونَ عَلَيْهِ وَيَنْفَعُمْ أَمْرٌ طَيِّبٌ People assisting each other now in those things which they are able to do to assist in, this is something good. أَمْرٌ طَيِّبٌ إِذَا كَانَ الْإِنسَانِ Provided إِذَا كَانَ الْإِنسَانِ حَيًّا حَادِرًا قَادِرًا These are three conditions. You can't say I'm seeking assistance with my sheikh He's sitting in the UK, you in South Africa. Sheikh, I've got a tire now, punctured tire. Help me, help me, ya Sheikh. Where is the Sheikh? He's in the UK. And you've got a tire, punctured tire here in South Africa. How is he going to help you? That's a mushkila, that's a problem. Therefore, he must be hazir. He is high, he's alive, yes. Right? Can he help to change a tire? Yes, normally he can help to change a tire. Right? But is he present? No, he's not present. So in this time, when he's not present, he cannot help you to change your tire. Right? If you shout at him like that, that is shirk. Even though he's high, he's alive. So these three conditions, hayyan, qadiran, nam, and hadiran. Right? So if such a person is in that state, is hayyan, hadiran, qadiran, nam, fahadha la bas bihi. There's no harm in seeking assistance from that type of individuals. No? Example, Sheikh says, give examples. Like you get somebody to help you with wealth, no? money, take a loan, or something's too heavy to carry, you tell him, help me, brother, to carry this. Or he helps you to build a wall. Or he helps you to build a wall. Or he helps you to harvest your crops, something that you have planted. These things, people, human beings can help you with. No harm in seeking assistance from the creation in this. This is not considered to be shirk. And also we know the hadith where Imam Muslim says, that the Prophet has said, Wallahu fi awni al-abdi ma kana al-abdi fi awni akhi. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is in the assistance of the servant as long as the servant is in the assistance of his brother. So as long as you're helping another Muslim brother, naam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's help is with you. So therefore we must uh, work for al-isti'ana baynana. Naam, this is called ta'awun. So this ta'awun between us must be there. Because it is something recommended in the sunnah. Now, that's the first type. I think we're all clear about that. Now we come to the second type of al-isti'ana. Al-isti'ana to be ghayrillah. Seeking help in other than Allah. Fi ma la yagdiru alayhi illa Allah. In those things, in those matters... When no one can help you except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Here is a dangerous uh, part of al-isti'ana. And here we should pay very careful attention. Many people slip up here and they fall into shirk. Okay? And that shirk that takes you out of the fold of Islam. So here he says, Kal isti'ana tu fi husuli risk. Like now you're seeking assistance huh, to get the risk, sustenance. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has decreed the risk of everyone. خَمْسِينَ أَلْسَنَا قَبْلَ أَنْ خَلَقَ اللَّهُ السَّمَوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ 50,000 years before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the heavens and the earth. 
he decreed the risk of everyone and of everything. So now the person makes istiana to acquire risk. Right? This is not talking about going and looking for a job and somebody helping you for a job. No. He's seeking he make istiana. I need my risk for the year, for six months. Oh Fulan. Naam? Okay? Oh, when it's the honor to be husul in walad, wa dhuriya, or seek assistance to get children, to get a child, and to get a progeny and a family. Right? So then the person say, okay, I'll give you this tawis, I'll give you this thing tied on your hand and all that. You'll get children, don't worry. You get two boys, two girls. So, asking assistance to get a family, to get a child. Right? Or you're getting assistance to, you seek assistance with someone to cure the sick. A member of the family is sick, you go there for some isti'ana, you make isti'ana with this person or that person for something, not medication, something tangible, not a doctor, no. This is isti'ana with someone to cure the sickness. Now maybe just look at you and then you're cured. No? So making that type of istiana. Oh, غير ذلك. فهذا لا يطلب إلا من الله. This is not sought except from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. قال تعالى إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, You alone we worship and you alone, O Allah, we seek assistance from. And that you alone we seek assistance from is this type of istiana. When you pick up your hand, you make dua, Ya Allah, I need more food, I need more uh, clothing, I need more of whatever, of risk. Oh Allah, I just got married, and please grant me uh, children, please, please grant me uh, a progeny that is righteous. So you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala these things, because nobody can give you these things, except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Except? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Right? So, iyaka na'budu means la na'budu siwa. We do not worship besides you, anyone else. Naam? Liyana takdimul ma'mul yufidul hasar. Because when you say iyaka na'budu, the iyaka that comes in the beginning before na'budu, it confines naam, the worship to Allah alone. So this iyaka in Arabic it says, it is for al-hasr, to confine. So all acts of worship is directed specifically and only to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nobody else. Thumma qala, wa nasta'in. Then you say, in Surah Fatiha, you alone we seek assistance. Naam? So the ma'mul here is iyaka. So, you alone, it means you alone, we seek assistance, right? So, now we understand, iyaka nabudu wa iyaka nasta'in, right? Worship is, consists of many types of practices which can be considered as worship. A whole range of things, salah, fasting, dua, you know, uh, uh, tawaf, many things are considered as worship. Now, it entails many things, right? So, under the banner of worship, you have something called isti'ana. So, isti'ana is related to worship. It falls under worship, right? So, it means isti'ana is ibadah. Isti'ana no'un min anwa'il ibadah. Wa hiya talabul aun min Allahi ta'ala. So it is seeking assistance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So when you do that, it is ibadah. Naam. Okay? What type of ibadah? Naam? It is an ibadah. Ibadah which no one can... Uh, ibadah which cannot be for anyone other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Naam? Because... لا يقدر عليه إلا الله. Example: كشفاء المرضى. And no one can grant you that. And the example of it is like 
curing a person that is sick. Now, we're not talking about, you see, you must differentiate. There's something called the Sabbath. Tablets, you got a headache, you take a tablet. The tablet does not cure you. It is just a sabab and a means. The tablet does not give you shifa. It is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who gives you shifa. He has placed that shifa, that cure in that tablet. When you take it, you get cured. It's Allah who has cured you. And the sabab, the means, is the tablet. The musabib, the one who causes the shifa, is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So when you make dua and you're asking for cure, you're asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Can anyone else give you cure? No, it's only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. La yagdiru alayha illa Allah. Fahazi la tutlab illa min Allah. So all of this type of isti'ana, you cannot ask anyone except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wala tutlab min al-amwat, you don't ask from the dead. Wala min al-kubur, neither from the graves. Wala min al-adriha, neither from the shrines. Naam, you know the shrine, the mazars, and all of that? Naam, the karamats. Wala min al-asnam, neither from the idols. Wala min al-ahjari wal-ashjar. You don't ask from the stones or the trees. Faman talabaha min ghayrillah. Whoever seeks this type of isti'ana from other than Allah, then he's in a dangerous position. Fa inna yakunu mushrikan. He becomes a mushrik. What type of shirk? A shirk al akbar al mukhrij min al millah, which takes you out of Islam. This type of istiana is shirk. It takes you out of the fold of Islam. When people go to the graves of the so called pious people, they ask them for this type of istiana. That's what they go to the grave for. They don't go to ask the dead man in the grave, come and help me change my tire. Come and help me. I just broke my leg. <clears throat> no. They go and ask him for this type of istiana. That dead man in the grave. I want children. I want risk. I want my shop must do. Must be uh, trading well. You know, help me there. Right? So they ask for this type of istiana. And these type of things cannot be asked from anyone except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you ask it from other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that is shirk which takes you out of the fold of Islam. That is al-isti'ana. That is haram to be asked except from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, if we look at these two types, now, we can categorize them. Type one is what? Your friend, your family, your neighbor, your teacher, Whoever can assist you with it. Yeah? Type two are those high profile types of assistance, right? Which, as servants, we need to ask for that assistance. Risk, children, wealth, uh, uh, to be to have good character, right? Uh, so we can't go, somebody brings a, 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 a naughty child to a sheikh and say, sheikh, this child is naughty. Do something that he must become a well-behaved child. What the sheikh is going to do? What, what, what do you think he's going to do? Wave a, wave a magic wand and then the child will be, okay? No, these are the things, these are the type of things. It's called type two. You turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Right? With this... The makhlukat cannot assist in that. <coughs> they cannot assist in that. Now, if you take, uh, if you make isti'ana in those things which the creation cannot assist you in, then you are committing shirk. And what type of shirk? Major shirk. So, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as-salama mean major shirk. Phantom. Naam. Aanakumullah wa yana. Naam. Barakallahu feekum. We will stop here. Al isti'ana. It must sink in. We must go through it. We must understand it properly. If you're asking from somebody who is, who is uh, alive, uh, at least the three conditions, you're asking a human being to assist you in something which a human being can assist you, there's three conditions. He must be high, living. He must be hadir, present. And he must be, what's the one more? 
qadir must have the ability to do that. Now, by if it's not, that three conditions are not fulfilled, then you ask only from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If it's not hay, it's not, it's not qadir, it's not hadir, then that is tiyana, that type, you go to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for that. Barakallahu feekum, wa sallallahu ala nabina Muhammad, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in, subhanaka allahumma bihamdika, shadu wa la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka, wa atubu ilayk. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.